the Wolf and the Bee, a Chicago nonprofit, recently launched its Bee Mail service, addressing workplace harassment for you by sending cautionary emails to alleged harassers. Yeah, this is fascinating. Co-founders Sherry Wolf and Sandy Lizenby join us now with more. Ladies, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having, Thanks for having us. us. Okay, let's talk about first how you guys started in this company together. Yeah, we, Sandy and I had worked at a job remotely together, um, so we'd learned to work um, remote apart. And once we'd parted ways, uh, an instance occurred with sexual harassment, and uh, there was really no information available. So I'd called Sandy and I'd said, hey, I don't know what to do, what's, what, you know, how to find any resources. So I started asking Sandy and started asking around, and I realized that, that there's really nothing. It's the height of the Me Too movement. Mm -hmm. Everything's going on. People have got their hands up everywhere saying it's happening to me. And you'd think that there, at that time there would be more available on what to do. So I'm asking around, and finally I find out. Just consult uh, your HR man manual or your um, just HR department. And, yeah. and, 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 but a lot of people are afraid to do that. Yeah. They don't really want to delve in there because they worry about the repercussions they will face. A lot of people do not report because of retaliation, the fear of losing their job, not being believed. So a very low number of people actually feel comfortable reporting to HR because we know HR's responsibility is to protect the company, and mm. that's fair, but we felt it was important to start creating tools and information and resources to help people, the victim or the individual, actually manage, not based on what's best for the company or what the legal mm. requirements are or what the government requirements are, but to feel comfortable addressing problems earlier without having to meet a threshold. Okay, so talk to us about how the B-mail system works. Do people reach out to you? Do they get advice from you? And then is it an email that's crafted? How does that work? Um, well, we started um, initially in, we launched our free Navigating Workplace Harassment User Guide, which is available on thewolfandthebee.org. Anybody can access that. And that provides a roadmap of all of the different options, the risks, the costs, the and if you decide to take one route, tools on how to navigate that the best way to your benefit, mm -hmm. right? Um, over the last few years, we're looking at our data and we realize <laughs> there is a giant gap between addressing harassment directly, which is big advice from the EEOC and from HR manuals, address the problem directly if you can, but it doesn't really tell you how to do that yeah. mm, versus scary. going to HR and there's a giant gap. So we really wanted to start closing the gap to help people navigate and resolve the issue on their own. But you'd only feel comfortable when it's small. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people don't feel comfortable. So hence uh, the B-mail is right. what, what was born. Yeah. Right. Yes. People don't feel comfortable going up and talking to the person that's harassing them. Yeah. Stop doing this right, or right, right. a bully or whatever because they don't really know how to do that. They don't want to escalate the problem. They don't want to become a target. So we created the B-mail so that we can assist people in addressing the problem directly. So the way they find us is they go to thebigmail.org and they, for a $25 donation, we are a nonprofit, we send an email to the person who's harassing them on their behalf. Anonymously, right? Anonymously. Okay. We do not name that person. And we don't really, um, we're not specific about what they're being accused of. Um, it's quite generic. It is direct. But we really want to focus on allowing for that person to resolve the problem, help resolve the problem, assess their behavior without risk for either party. Mm. And you just started this, what, in February? February. Yeah. Oh, so February. how many have you, have you sent already? We have, we've sent one so far, and when we send it, we actually send tools to the person who receives the B-mail on how to do better at work, but we also follow up with the person who's sending the B-mail on what to do next, how to recognize retaliation if they're experiencing mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And then we also provide with the B-mail documentation that the person has actually tried to resolve it on their own. So if they do need to escalate this to mm -hmm. HR, mm -hmm. they can now say, hey, I, I'm a problem solver. I tried to do this on my own. It's not working out. Now we need to escalate this to the next steps, and they have documentation. So what happened with the one email you sent? Um, we don't know yet. <laughs> At two, two to three weeks after the email is sent, we actually send a follow-up email to that person to see how things went, and we're right in that zone right okay, now okay. to get our information right, so back. To get so we're that. waiting okay. to get that back. Yeah, because yeah. if somebody pushed back to you guys, what do you then do for the person you were sending it on behalf of? We give them extra tools. Like the, the user guide helps fill in, like 
if that doesn't work, then you have to determine whether you're going to escalate it to HR or if you're going to do take other action. We have scripts on our website on how to actually speak to somebody oh. more specifically okay. because one thing we have found is when you send a email with those tools, confidence um, and empowerment, mm -hmm. people feel more empowered yes. to actually go and talk about setting their boundaries directly. Um, and we give them those tools That's to amazing. help do that. It's such a smart idea. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you can get some more information. You see the phone number on your screen. Also, Wolf and the Bee are the social media handles. Wolfandthebee.org is the uh, website as well. And then you'll see the beemail.org mm -hmm. if you want to go that route too. Yeah. Statistics, yeah. data. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. thank you ladies. Thank Appreciate you so it.